Welcome to Word Unicorn demo videos. This video is about uh, scheduler configuration how to refresh. What does that mean? Uh, that means once you have started the scheduler on the cluster, uh, if you want to modify some of the scheduler configuration, uh, you can directly modify the config map um, and you don't have to restart the scheduler service. Uh, before watching this video, I assume you have watched the demo we previously posted in our YouTube channel um, um, introducing how to how to run Unicorn on top of Kubernetes and how to configure the scheduler with config map. If you haven't, uh, please check out the video, the Hello World video we posted in our YouTube channel. So let's um <clears throat> let's first look at the environment. So this is a local Kubernetes cluster uh, I set up on the uh, using the Docker desktop um, because we are not going to dig into the details how we how we deploy the scheduler and how we configure the scheduler. I've already done that in this environment. So you can see my pod is scheduler pod is running here. I have the Unicorn scheduler Kubernetes container running in the pod. I also have the Unicorn web running the pod. So I can access the I can access the UI from this URL. And I can uh, read the read the queue configuration from from here and all the information of the all the configuration are loaded from the config map here you can see the content this is exactly the same you saw from the UI in this demo we're going to modify the configuration directly from this config map and see how how the scheduler can can update itself um, by picking up the latest change. We can so you can directly um, click the edit here uh, to modify the changes in the UI, but I prefer the command line way. So let's just run kube control edit config maps unicorn configs, and this will give you give you the information the content of the configuration we use for the scheduler so let me update one configuration here suppose we have um, more um, CPUs added to the pool and that we want to increase the uh, increase the capacity for guarantee guarantee the queue uh, for for the advertisement queue then we can we can change the guarantee resource for for the advertisement from like the request from fifty thousand to let's see sixty thousand then we just simply save and uh, exit the edit it will show you the config map has been updated then we can take a look the config map showed up on the UI we can see this is the change we just made so back to the Unicorn UI. This UI is loading the information from the scheduler's RESTful service. So it's not loading the config the, the, the conversion from the map. Well we can check the development queue. We have updated updated the config capacity. Now it is updated already. Uh, usually there has has some delay on the updating because um when we updated the config map, the change doesn't directly go into populated to um, the 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 volume mounted to the pod. Uh, that is because um, the actual update was was determined by the Kubernetes, and the Kubernetes has some of certain um, re resync resync interval. Um, only when it reaches the interval and it detects the change of the config config map, it will do the put the latest change and uh, put that into the onto the node. So uh, we can see the conversion updated, and then we can try something more complex. 
for example, we can add a queue. Right now we have three queues, and uh, what we can do here, let's say we, we, we have uh, more cluster resources available, and uh, we want to uh, add a queue. Let's just do a copy-paste from here, from sandbox queue, and uh, we name it test. So the test queue has the same resource capacity uh, as sandbox, but it's an, it is a new queue. Just to save. Again, let's take a look at the changes we made to config map here. We can see the task queue is here. And let's see if we get information in the UI already. Not yet. So, another way to check the configuration is using the RESTful service. So, this is the, this is the URL to query the information about the queues. We can do the queries and so we return us the information. So right now we can say it is not updated yet. We only have three queues. We only have three queues here. So let's um, take a look. Okay, now we can see a new queue is added in the into the scheduler. And uh, one, once we update it. Refresh the schedule UI again. We are able to see the new queue is added here. So um, the new applications can submit to this queue to take advantage of the new resources added to the cluster. Also, the hot refresh supports to 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 remove some of the queues to update any form of the any of the configuration. Um, in the config map, most of the actually the most of the configuration. Yeah, I think um, that's it for for the demo today. Thanks for watching.